Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to ABAP reports and Alva BAP list viewer in SAP ABAP interviews. 1. What is an ABAP report in SAP? Answer. An ABAP report is a program that retrieves data from the database and presents it in a structured format for analysis or display. 2. Explain the structure of an ABAP report. Answer. An ABAP report consists of a selection screen parameters, processing logic, and an output layout. The processing logic typically involves database access and manipulation of data. 3. What is a selection screen in ABAP? Answer. The selection screen is the user interface where users can input parameters to filter data for the report. It is defined using the select options and parameter statements. 4. How do you handle dynamic selection options in an ABAP report? Answer. Dynamic selection options are handled using the select option statement with the no intervals addition. This allows users to input non-contiguous values. 5. Explain the purpose of the at selection screen event. Answer. The at selection screen event is triggered before the selection screen is displayed. It allows for additional checks, validations, or modifications of selection screen elements. 6. What is the significance of the at selection screen output event? Answer. The at selection screen output event is triggered after the selection screen is displayed. It enables modifications to the appearance or attributes of selection screen elements. 7. How do you use the at selection screen on event for dynamic modifications? Answer. The at selection screen on event is used to dynamically modify the selection screen based on user input. It allows for conditional changes. 8. Explain the concept of interactive and classic reports. Answer. Interactive reports allow users to interactively navigate through data using drill-down capabilities. Classic reports are read-only and display data in a tabular format. 9. What is Alva BAP list viewer in SAP? Answer. ALV is a set of standard functions in SAP that allow developers to display data in a tabular format with enhanced features like sorting, filtering, and formatting. 10. How do you implement ALV in an ABAP report? Answer. ALV can be implemented using function modules like reuse ALV grid display or classes like CLG ALV grid. These provide ready-made tools for displaying ALV grids. 11. What is the purpose of the ALV object model in ABAP? Answer. The ALV object model provides a structured approach for developers to interact with ALV grids programmatically. It includes classes like CL Solve Table for enhanced control. 12. Explain the difference between field catalog and output table in ALF. Answer. The field catalog defines the structure and attributes of the columns in the ALF grid, while the output table contains the actual data to be displayed. 13. How do you handle events in ALF grid display? Answer. Events in ALV grids can be handled using the event handling framework. Common events include double click, top of page, and end of page. 14. What is the purpose of Hotspot and how is it implemented in ALV? Answer. A hotspot in ALV is an area that triggers an event when clicked. It can be implemented using the hotspot attribute in the field catalog. 15. Explain the concept of ALV Grid Toolbar and how to customize it. Answer. The ALV Grid Toolbar provides additional functionalities. It can be customized using the toolbar parameter in the ALV function modules or methods. 16. What is the significance of the Reuse ALV Events function module in ALV programming? Answer. Reuse ALV Events is used to define and handle user actions or events in ALV grids. It enables the definition of event IDs and corresponding event handlers. 17. How can you implement page headers and page footers in ELF Grid? Answer. Page headers and footers in ELF can be implemented using the top of page and end of page events. These events allow for custom headers and footers. 18. Explain the use of ELF Grid display with hierarchical data. Answer. 
ALV grids can display hierarchical data using the reuse ALV hearsec list display function module. It allows for the presentation of data in a tree-like structure. 19. How do you enable sorting in ALV grid display? Answer. Sorting in ALV grids can be enabled by setting the sort parameter in the field catalog or using the SCT table for first display method in ALF classes. 20. What is the purpose of ALF grid display layouts, and how are they managed? Answer. Layouts in ALF control the appearance and arrangement of the grid. They can be managed using the layout parameter in the ALF function modules or methods. 21. Explain the use of ALF grid display with field catalog merge. Answer. Field Catalog Merge allows the dynamic adjustment of the ELF Grid's field catalog during runtime. It can be achieved using the Reuse ELF Field Catalog Merge function module. 22. How do you handle ELF Grid display with multiple hierarchies? Answer. ELF Grids can display multiple hierarchies using the Reuse ELF Field Catalog Merge function module. It allows for the creation of field catalogs for different hierarchy levels. 23. What is the purpose of the reuse ALV list display function module, and how is it different from other ALV functions? Answer. Use ALV list display is a versatile function module that can be used for simple list displays. It is different from other ALV functions as it offers a more basic display without additional features. 24. How do you manage ELF grid display with filters and totals? Answer. Filters and totals in ALF can be managed using the Reuse ALF Grid Display Function Module or ALF classes. The iSave parameter allows saving settings like filters and totals. 25. Explain the use of ALF Grid Display with Dynamic Field Catalog. Answer. Dynamic Field Catalog in ALF allows the creation of field catalogs at runtime. It can be implemented using the Reuse ALF Field Catalog Merge function module with dynamic field definitions. 26. How do you enable Excel Export in ALF Grid Display? Answer. Excel Export in ALF can be enabled by setting the I default parameter to ZLs in the Reuse ALF Grid Display function module or using appropriate methods in ALF classes. 27. What is the significance of the reuse ALV pop-up to select function module in a BAP? Answer, use ALV pop-up to select is used to display a pop-up window for users to select values. It is commonly used in selection screens for dynamic value help. 28. Explain the purpose of the reuse of block list in it function module. Answer, use ALV block list in it is used to display ALV grids in block mode. It allows users to select rows for further processing. 29. How can you handle large data sets in ELF grid display for performance optimization? Answer. For large data sets, ELF can be optimized by using server-side processing, paging, and optimizing the field catalog. It ensures better performance and responsiveness. 30. What are the considerations for ELF grid display with SAP HANA optimization? Answer. For SAP HANA optimization, ALF grids should leverage HANA specific features like CDS, views, AMP ABAP managed database procedures, and push down capabilities to enhance performance. These questions and answers provide insights into the key concepts of ABAP reports and ALF ABAP list viewer programming, covering various aspects such as selection screens, ALF grids, events, layouts, and performance optimization. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers.
For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.